now so i will explain one more example on the comparator here just observe i want to add string and a string buffer objects into the tree set i want to add a string object and a string buffer t dot add of string a string buffer a b c string buffer a a next are some string objects i'm adding i want to add string and a string buffer objects into the tree set where sorting order is where the sorting order is so increasing length order where the sorting order is increasing length order if for two objects having the same length then consider their alphabetical order the two rules sorting order is increasing length order increasing length order length order if for two objects having the same length then consider their alphabetical order then consider their alphabetical order is our requirement can you tell what is the output by default our expected output increasing length order first which one ah first one length one length how many things are there year one year one but if both are having the same length consider alphabetical order so a is the duplicate remove only one a will be added next the second one two length two length how many are there year is there year is there consider their alphabetical order a a x x then three length how many where three length a b c a b c is there only one then four length how many a b c d a b c d this is are you getting this is my expected output how we can define comparator compare logic right okay very very simple can you tell here which objects we are inserting just observe string or string buffer we don't know it may be string object or string buffer that's why let me let me convert these objects into string string s1 is equal to obj1 dot to string method string s2 is equal to obj2 dot to string method string s1 string s2 if s1 here observe we we require to arrange according to increasing length order that's why make sure first find out the length int l1 is equal to s1 dot length int l2 is equal to s2 dot length int l1 int l2 l2 if if l1 if l1 greater than l2 if l1 greater than l2 or less than l2 first object length is a smaller than second object length so first object smaller length should come before before that's why return return minus 1 minus 1 else if l1 greater than l2 oh first object length is greater than second object length return return plus 1 plus 1 else if both are having the same length if both are having the same length can you tell what we have to do consider their alphabetical order consider if i can take return 0 then duplicate will be consider their alphabetical order return return s1 dot compare to of s2 return s1 dot compare to of s2 end of this end of this one are you getting the point right okay this here. return s1 dot compare to of s2 like if i can do like this then our required output by default we are going to get just observe this here i am taking tree set t is equal to new tree set of new my comparator t dot add of a new string buffer of abc new string buffer of aa xx abcd like if int l1 same compare logic everything is the same if l1 less than l2 return minus 1 if l1 greater than l2 return plus 1 else consider their alphabetical order s1 dot compare to of s2 consider their alphabetical order 
now see the name of demo program 12 tree set demo 12 like tree set demo 12 dot java next tree set demo 12 what is the output by default we are going to get here is have you observed a a a x x a b c a b c d right okay this is so this is the way how to insert string and string of buffer objects into the tree set according to according to increasing length order if both objects have in the same length then consider their alphabetical order okay add but here one important conclusion i want to make here sometimes a string sometimes a string of buffer objects we are adding correct right sometimes string sometimes string of buffer object if we are depending on default natural sorting order compulsory the object should be homogeneous and comparable but uh, if we are defining our own sorting our own sorting by comparator then the objects uh, need not be homogeneous need not be comparable have you observed in the last example non comparable objects we are adding in this example heterogeneous objects we are adding are you getting string and a string of buffer objects we are adding that's why if we are defining our own sorting by comparator then the objects need not be homogeneous and a comparable heterogeneous objects we can add under non comparable objects we can add take a note 